This is actually a bit of a tough equation. NH3 plus NO yields N2 plus H2O. Whenever I have something like N2 or O2, I like to leave that until last. That makes things easier quite often. So let's see how this works out. For nitrogen on this side, I have one. Hydrogens, I have three. And oxygens, I have one. But I have one nitrogen here, and I have one here. So I have a total of two nitrogens. If you miss that, it will be very hard to balance this equation. On the product side, nitrogen, I have two. Hydrogens, I have two. And oxygens, I have one. So let's leave the nitrogen until last and start by fixing the hydrogens. So if I have two here and three here, why don't I take and multiply two times the NH3, because this three times two, that'll give me six. And then over here, if I put a three in front of the water, I'll have the two times the three, and that'll give me six as well. When I look at my oxygens, now I need to update those to reflect the new coefficient. So three times the one here, I have three oxygens and only one here. So I could put a three in front of the NO and the one times the three, that would give me three. And now my oxygens are balanced. So I'm getting very close, but I need to update the nitrogen atoms now that I've changed the coefficients. So I have two nitrogens here plus the three here. That gives me five. And over here, I still have the two nitrogens. The five here and the two on the product side is a bit challenging, but there's a nice trick we can do. If we want to have five nitrogens on this side to balance these five out, we can multiply that times five over two. When I do that, the twos, they'll cancel out, and I'm left with five nitrogens. So I'm going to put that five over two here as the coefficient on the N2, and now we're done. You can see why I left the N2 until last. That enabled me to do this fraction here to balance the equation. Some people aren't comfortable having fractions in their equations. They'd like to use a whole number ratio. We can do that by taking and multiplying the entire equation by two. So two times two, that would give us four. Two times three is six. Two times five over two, that gives us five and two times three is six. So I've cleaned this up here for you and you can see the final coefficients. The trick here to balance this equation was we left the nitrogens until last. And then when we got to them, we used a fraction. And you can do that with other equations that have O2, N2, and so on in them. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NH3 plus NO yields N2 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.